metadata utility, how to reset and re-download the Windows Media Center, Movie Library, Metadata Information. For this example, in which we have a live experience, for example, from users in which users have built a Windows Media Center movie library and they have built an entire metadata movie library for their Windows Media Center in metadata utility. And after troubleshooting or trying to synchronize their metadata information, they have not been able to resolve problems. For example, users have ghost movies, duplicate movies, or simply metadata information is not being shown in their movie library. And users have exhausted their searches and they just want to get a start from scratch and let's synchronize the entire movie library. This video is meant for those users. And in that case, means that we are going to resynchronize the entire Windows Media Center movie library from the main switchboard we're going to click on maintenance switchboard followed by clicking on metadata utility maintenance main switchboard followed by clicking on metadata utility maintenance delete switchboard followed by clicking on delete windows media center cache once that, that has been selected a user will be prompted by metadata utility to confirm that it is desired to delete the local information on that particular Windows PC that is being affected. In this particular case, based on the architecture from Windows Media Center, the metadata information is stored inside the users, the local user that is logged on to Windows, to that Windows PC. Therefore, metadata utility will show in the message the actual path for the local cache that it's about to be deleted. It is worth to note that metadata utility is not and will not and cannot delete movies from a user's movie library. It's a safety feature in metadata utility. From versions since like uh, 2010 up to date, there are several legacy functionalities from metadata utility that have no longer no longer being active, they have been removed. Uh, one of those is uh, metadata utility is not, cannot, and will not be able to delete movies from a user's movie library. Therefore, this, uh, this message that we're seeing here, it is only deleting the, what we call cache information. What is a cache? From the architectural design from Windows Media Center, the Windows Media Center movie library detailed information, movie information, or as we call it, XML information. It is stored in the user that is logged on to that Windows PC's profile. And that is what it's being deleted. So after we delete this cache, information from the user's profile, the Windows Media Center movie library is still intact and has not lost a single movie.
but if after we delete this cache, we open Windows Media Center, the user may not see or will not see any movie detailed information. Once that has been selected, this option, here we have a separate uh, example of a, an older PC. This would be an, a Windows XP Media Center Edition. Most users will have a Windows 7 or older PC, therefore the path that will be shown will be as seen in this example. Once that we click yes, then metadata utility will remove the cache information. Then once that has been completed, we go back to the main switchboard and we click on return to metadata utility maintenance switchboard followed by clicking on return to maintenance switchboard followed by clicking on return to main switchboard which will bring us back to the main starting point in within the main switchboard in metadata utility. There we're going to click on merge generator switchboard followed by clicking on metadata utility merge switchboard followed by clicking on WMC XML profile cache. This particular case, we will select all records, which means that we will select the entire movie library. Metadata utility will confirm this in a message indicating that no records are selected as no records should be in the selected records queue and prompt the user to select all records and process and recache the entire uh, library. Once that we say yes, then Windows Media Center will be resynchronized through metadata utilities process. Again, given that each record will take approximately half a second, this might take a few minutes until metadata utility has fully synchronized the entire Windows Media Center movie library to the user's local profile. Once that has that's been completed, then simply launch Windows Media Center and review the results of the entire cache process. For any other questions on this topic, as well as any other questions with regard of all the other functionalities that we have built in in metadata utility to enable users to synchronize their entire movie library with Windows Media Center. We welcome of our users to click on any of our other videos that we have available, as well as to visit our website where we have detailed step-by-step -step instructions as well as, as well as FAQ sections, how-to sections, troubleshooting sections that walk users step-by-step -step on how to troubleshoot and synchronize their Windows Media Center movie library using metadata utility. Our website is metadatautility.com. We thank you for watching.